The prostate is going to contain three zones, the central zone, the transition zone, and the peripheral zone. The peripheral zone is going to be a common site for prostate cancers. So 85% of the prostate cancers are going to be arising from the peripheral zone of the prostate. Now this zone is going to be glandular, meaning that it is going to contain a lot of glands. So the cancer that arises from this region is most commonly going to be prostate adenocarcinoma or cancer of the glands. Now, as you can see from this picture, only a small portion of the urethra is going to be traveling through the peripheral zone. As a result, if you have a cancer in this region, then patients are most commonly not going to be presenting with urinary symptoms because only a small region of the urethra is going to be traveling through the peripheral zone. So as a result, patients do not commonly present with urinary symptoms when they have cancers arising from the peripheral zone. Now, as you can see from this picture on the right, the peripheral zone of the prostate is going to be neighboring the rectum. We can use this as a way to insert a ultrasound probe in order to visualize the prostate. Now, this ultrasound probe is going to be also able to visualize other uh, parts of the prostate. And it is going to be important because we can insert a needle through the rectum into the prostate and take tissue samples from different parts of the prostate. So when this is done, commonly 10 to 12 different sites of the prostate is going to be sampled with a biopsy. And then we can take that biopsy and look at it under the microscope to see if there is any abnormalities. Now the transition zone is going to be encompassing the urethra. So here I'm highlighting the transition zone and this is going to be the urethra which is going to be encompassed by the transition zone. So as you can imagine, if we have a cancer arising from the transition zone, it can grow and compress the urethra over here and this can result in urinary obstruction causing patients to have trouble peeing. So cancers arising from the transition zone commonly present with urinary problems for patients because the transition zone is going to be encompassing the urethra. Now, another important information to know about the transition zone is that it is going to be a common site of growth for benign prostatic hyperplasia. So BPH, is going to be a benign growth of the prostate tissue. And commonly, this growth of the prostate tissue is going to occur in the transition zone. And this is why BPH commonly presents with urinary obstruction symptoms like trouble peeing because the transition zone is going to be encompassing the urethra. So if we have benign growth of the prostate tissue in the transition zone, it can ultimately obstruct the urethra and cause problems with urinating for patients. Now, 10% of the prostate cancers are going to be arising from the transition zone. And the central zone is going to be the final zone of the prostate. And as you can see, it is going to be encompassing the ejaculatory duct. It is very rare for a cancer to arise from the central zone.